Hi everyone, it's Raziel Kane, and today I'm super excited because I finally have this box, which honestly is a lot smaller than I thought, yeah, but it's already open, unpacked. Uh, reflector, uh, or refractor, as uh, you kids call it these days. I'm super excited to have this because I had it on pre-order with Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, I was willing to pay full price, shipping, everything, because I really wanted to have uh, this kit. But then I saw that DJC Collectibles, my favorite online store, had it at 15% off on Cyber Monday. So I jumped on it. Uh, Derek is a great guy. I want to support his shop as much as I can. And uh, yeah, it, but we were both surprised when, you know, I opened the big box that everything came in it. And I saw this, I'm like, wow, that's really small. He said, I know. He said, I cleared a lot of space in my warehouse and it was all those little boxes. So yeah, but you know, in small packages, uh, comes a great thing or whatever the pro uh, proverb is. I only know it in French, but uh, yeah, really happy to have this kit, um, which is funny enough that I prefer to take this, which were toy accurate uh, colors instead of uh, buying three reflectors uh, to have the um, cartoon accurate colors because I'm more of a cartoon accuracy look but uh, yeah uh, I don't know just this just called to me and uh, the fact that they have the extra accessory to make the, the camera with the flash and the button and uh, it's a great set so I've been playing with it for a while now and it's uh, it's sturdy they're smaller deluxes but we're gonna take a look before I do that, check my voice acting spotlight playlist, something I'm absolutely proud of. It's been the main feature of my channel, and uh, I want to keep doing this until I'm 60. Yeah, give or take more than that, you know, 70, 80. You guys are stuck with me for a while. Okay, so let's take a look at the box first, which is uh, different from anything that we've seen. They have some holo cards, I guess from spying missions. And then it says here that, uh, you know, they turn the fine art of observation and the cruel craft of destruction. And... Reflector to Megatron! I have it in my sights and will maintain watch until your arrival. Another holo card, very unique. Then you have the siege style artwork uh, with all the three uh, the three robots and uh, I have anything else no that's pretty much it uh, nice box but I wanted to get it out of the way because uh, it takes a lot of space let me rearrange this for a moment as I said they came in the box as the camera but I played with them and then put them in robot mode so that we can uh, take a look at this so this is spectro this is viewfinder and this is spyglass and to me forever they're gonna be just reflector and it's a really nice set lots of accessories like you know three small deluxe uh, if you compare them with um, I think they're maybe just a bit taller than Netflix bumblebee and cliff jumper uh, and they don't have that much more plastic but the value of the package comes from all the accessories each one comes with the lens cover and uh, or just the lens uh, toy, toy hacks does have something for that I'm still debating if I should get them or not because these guys are detailed as hell right now so I don't know if I need to add but it's pretty cool so you get three of those uh, be mindful in the instruction they don't tell you but this one is hidden under the lens so I searched for the, this button. I was like, man, I'm missing one. I'm missing one until I took apart the camera and then I saw where it was. Uh, because you do need one of those buttons to uh, plug in the stand. But uh, we'll see that later. So they all come with the gun. They all come with a shield like this, which will be part of the, the ship mode. And it all three of them form the stand for the camera. Uh, simple enough. I'll show it to you later. But what what comes in this box that doesn't come if you buy uh, the Siege Reflector, you know, single pack, three times, you don't get this. This is a, well, they use it as a shield on this guy, but it goes on the camera like this, and that's the, basically to mer uh, mimic a uh, 
where you would put uh, the film on a old uh, film camera. I know people under 35, maybe 30, don't know what that is, but very nicely detailed. Now, I, I do know that the toy hack stuff enhanced this a lot, so yeah, yeah I'm, the more I think about it, the more I'll get the decals, but that's one of the accessories that's unique. Uh, these, in robot mode, they'll be used as uh, shoulder pads, uh, but they're, uh, they say refractor. I really want reflector. So again, you know, a more uh, mo more uh, reasons to get the uh, the decals. And then you have uh, the uh, the flash, which is actually looking, you know, pretty good for uh, a uh, replica of an 80s flash. It's pretty good. They used to be bigger, but this, you know, scales really well with the camera. So those are the unique item. And of course you get Grimzik which I still would have purchased this kit if Karim Zeke hadn't been part of it. But here we are with Karim Zeke. Actually, you know, this thing is better than Daniel and Wheelie we got with Studio Series 86 Dinobots. So, anyway. And now I'm just going to review one of them because uh, they're all the same except for paints. Uh, well, okay, let's do paint on each. I mean, all silver, get the light blue, metallic light blue. Um, again, I'm colorblind, so if I mess up, sorry, uh, the face. This one to me looks more uh, accurate to the cartoon than the other two. Well, of course, because the other two never were in the cartoon. I like the yellow here. Uh, this folds down uh, and extends when you build a ship. But I really, I like this uh, this one here, the yellow, some highlights uh, on the, uh, the shin. Uh, but it's, you know, pretty much, uh, you know, same thing. And then Spectro, I think it's what his name, he's extremely different and he looks really good. The red really ends the feature, it's really nicely done. Same molded detail, but uh, red, black, silver makes for a, a good Decepticon uh, color. Uh, I like that. But then articulation, let's take uh, Reflector. And uh, the head is on a ball joint, so it's gonna rotate 360. Uh, he's gonna spin like a Ferris wheel. You can't, they go back and forth like that because of transformation, but they don't actually move, but the arm will kind of break at the shoulder and give you something like this. Looks okay, I guess. Uh, there's a rotation at uh, the elbow. There's the elbow bend, more than 90. The hand will not rotate, but it's gonna fold because of transformation. You have 360 on all three of them. Can split them like a log rotation at the, uh, the, the die you have a way more than well okay this mode you only have a 90 uh, degree bend um, actually any mode sorry I thought that I if I remove this but there's this still a, a part here that prevents a more than 90 so 90 degree uh, bend have a good ankle rocker and you can you know, fold the toe like this, no heel, uh, but he stands pretty good. You, you do have to angle it properly for it not to fall off, uh, fall backward, but uh, now it's good enough. So that's the figures. Uh, let me uh, pause and equip them with the accessories and uh, to give you a, an idea of how they, uh, they look. All right, so this is how they show you to uh, equip them, uh, the accessories. So the shoulder pads will go on uh, the middle piece and I guess he has uh, the flash and the lens uh, and gets a kind of a shield uh, they all have the same gun and he gets like a super shield they don't actually give you specs for that or at least I haven't found them if there's a mode that's more defensive more you know they did that with the weaponizer and then you have some leftovers because you know only the middle piece reflector always had the lens and then uh, so and then they don't equip an extra shield on uh, the spectral one so uh, looks pretty good and I do love the fact that the toe folds so he's able to do the kneeling shoot pose a pose that I for some reason really like and there's not many robots that actually can pull it off so that this to me that's pretty neat. I can't believe the Autobots survived. All right, so we're gonna put them in ship mode. Uh, I'm just gonna transform one. Uh, let's go with the red one. Um, all right, I'm just gonna remove the leader. Take this out. 
remove this and then this you don't need the extra accessories for the ship modes and the they, they're only useful for the camera so what you want to do is take the uh, hold on I haven't read the instruction that much uh, okay first off you're gonna twist this turn the head put the head down and then flip it around like this put the heels this no, not the heels the toes like this and there you go and a eh, I don't know okay so I guess these are like fighter jets not jet but you know like X, the the equivalent of an x-wing for the, the the this universe it that's as much as this as close as it get to an attack uh, vehicle you know spacecraft you know there wasn't that much space battle back then um well not in this show anyway um i think it's in the absolutely forced uh, mode because they just figured uh, we need to you know sell him individually so here's the individual mode but really we all just want the camera so you know they did the seeker the the rainmakers as a three pack they could have used instead of selling uh, you know refractor as a solo piece instead of this set they could have you know just give us without the extra accessories you know give us two versions one set which is completely cartoon accurate the other one um, this one I love this set I can't picture anyone wanting to buy just one and displaying it like this it, it's it, you know it's a robot that's just laying on his back it, anyway not that great so yeah let's do some size comparison before I move on to the uh, camera mode so here is Reflector with Earthrise Megatron, Siege Prowl, Studio Series 86 Slag, and just for kicks here is with uh, Buzzwordy Bumblebee, Origin Bumblebee. And now to transform him into a camera mode, what I'll do is I'll just take this part here. I'll show you how we're gonna form the camera. But before I do so, I just wanna show you, I think it's really well done how they do the, uh, the shoulder pads, because this basically, it removes from here, and then you just turn it around, same on the other side and then you clip them together properly uh, like this and this will give you the camera head while the camera cover something i don't know what's the technical term so this is one of the accessory this is just you fold you clip there you go so we'll need that later and then you need the stand which is basically the three guns which you're gonna take and all put together like this so nope on the other way Ah, sorry. One, two, three. And then basically it's gonna peg into a lens like this. So that's accessory number three. And then you're gonna take all three shields and you're just gonna line them up like this. You have to be very precise. Cause it's there's it's all sliding pegs. There's no no lock. Basically, ah, there we go. So, see, just like this, and we're done. And it's a long transformation, but not a too complicated one. Let's find out. And this mode is probably how I'm going to display him. I usually display all of my stuff in robot mode, but this camera is so 80s. I mean, you have the big flash, you have uh, the, well, they don't tell you to put this on, but you know, I like to have the button to click because uh, this is a rewinder for the film that's stored here, um, if it was a working camera. And uh, the shoulder pads on uh, viewfinder. Yeah, kind of hard to remember their name because all you know, all I knew back then was uh, reflector. So I'm probably gonna order Toyax decals uh, for, even for this mode because I want to have reflector here. So I'm hoping that's what Toyax did. Of course, there's no articulation for this mode. I, I, you know, nothing rotates, nothing moves. Uh, it's just a nice display piece. The three guns making the stand. The details are amazing. I mean, everything translates from uh, robot mode. 
but uh, you know you can clearly tell that this is a fold-up robot. But I, I, I don't care. It looks so good, so 80s. It's, it's, it's that's what I've been waiting for a year for. This is how I'm going to display him instead of robot mode. It's one of the pieces that I wanted the most. Uh, I wouldn't say it was a, a holy grail, but the moment I purchased it, I was like, yeah, okay, the, I, I'm, I'm, I'm eagerly waiting to, to have this set. So let me put them back in. Uh, uh, you know what? No, I'm just gonna do my final thoughts right now. No transformation. Back to robot mode. It's a fantastic set. I'm super happy to have it. I recommend it. I know DJC Collectibles still had eight copies last time I spoke to Derek. Maybe it's less now. Uh, but if you like this set and you want to get it, do so. Because I don't think Hasbro is gonna do a, a third reissue. Well guys, if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Also leave a comment, I really love reading those. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care!